Hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching for tech so as i told you last time along with the pixel experience i will create a video for the lineage os 19 and 12 best custom rom for the oneplus nord 2 so this rom is already released on 15 jan 2022 but meanwhile lots of the rom release so i didn't test it but yesterday i flashed it and today i will going to show you how to flash this rom and its review all you know is that the Lineage OS ROM is the pure performance and the minimal customizable ROM for the Android devices. So without wasting your time, let's check how it works on our Nord 2. On a new adventure. Download the Lineage OS ROM zip file from the link given under the video description. If you are able to access the internal storage in the TWRP, then just place the file in internal storage otherwise use the usb otg like previous videos use adb commands or the advanced reboot to boot your phone into the recovery mode click install then locate the zip file and flash the file then go to the wipe then select the format data type yes and then reboot to the system so this rom is based on oxygen os a15 update sometime it may stuck at one plus logo for more than 10 minutes if this happens, power off your phone by long pressing volume up plus power button then immediately press volume down plus power. This will boot your phone into the bootloader mode. Now connect phone to the PC, download the A15 boot image, place it in a PC, open the CMD in the same window and flash the boot image by using the command fastboot flash boot boot.img. Now type the fastboot W, this will erase the internal storage of your phone then type fastboot reboot so it will take 5 to 7 minutes of time again to take the first boot so wait patiently finally it's booted here i already done the setup here we will go to the settings about phone so the phone upgraded to android 12 bless lineage os 19 as this is the old build we get the 5 december 2021 security patch build date is 15 jan 2022 here we get the beautiful easter egg of android 12 and lineage os so let's check what's working the wi-fi and the wi-fi hotspots working and connecting to the networks bluetooth connection is also working here audio in the bluetooth device is also working without any tweaks and supports the high definition audio profiles too OLT calling works but the network other than the geo needs to do some tweaks to get it work so go to the network setting and disable and enable the OLT tab then go to the dialer and then type star hash star as 4636 hash star hash star and set the network to the LTE only. Then reboot the device. It should work now. The incoming and outgoing calls works well. But remember we didn't see the whole LTE icon in the status bar as this is the vanilla ROM. No setting available to enable the icon. Auto brightness is working but still it's buggy. It may increase the brightness to the higher or lower level at any condition. So use the manual brightness instead. NFC services is working here. GPS locations are working and accurate. Under display fingerprint works here. I didn't show it in the video but it's fast and accurate. So ROM comes with the two camera application. One is normal Android cam and the another one is Google Go cam. Phone is taking decent quality pics, no issue at all. Google Go Cam has the night mode, HDR dedicated setting tab, portrait mode, Google Translate, face announcement is included in the camera. Camera quality is awesome but still I have given the Google Cam stable build in the video description, you can use that. The thing is not working in the ROM is only the alert slider. Alert slider is still not fixed but we got the kernel which has fixed this bug. I will try that soon. Let's get into the features now. The ROM has the dedicated app in the app drawer that is the OnePlus setting and dedicated tab under the settings also. It has a smart charging feature. There we can set the charging limit to control the overcharging and the length and the battery of your phone. Three performance profiles available, balance, power save and the performance. Double tap to wake is available but it's not working. Game mode tab available. If we enable this tab, we we'll get the status bar notification for it. I have discussed in the detail about this feature in the Pixel ROM video. Its link is available in the right side card. Ambient display gesture is also available along with the always on display setting. Dedicated 60 and 90 Hz screen refresh rate available along with the smooth display option. 
so here vibration control is available which has the low medium and the high profiles vibrations are smooth in the rom but not as good as oxygen voice rom some other features are available inside the display setting like now playing but it's not working it needs to be fixed under the lock screen we get the always show time and the info similar to the ambient display gesture setting dark and light theme tab along with the scheduling option available dedicated tab for the night light with the intensity control is included in the rom live display setting as the reading mode and color calibration options power menu along with the bunch of the option to add in the power menu setting like the screenshot aeroplane mode emergency and the bug report other customizations are available in the system setting here we get the live translate feature tab instead of that we also get the status bar setting to add or disable the different icons changing clock position adding am pm network indicators and many more in the status bar under the gestures we get the system navigation here we get the full screen navigation gesture setting and adding haptic feedback settings for the gesture control one handed mode with the notification quick access setting so we can use the either one handed mode or the notification panel instead hold power button to access the google assistant we can change the pace and hold duration for the power button also full mode theming is available in the rom along with the wallpaper and style app it has theme icon setting google photo has the unlimited backup storage So let's check the performance. The ROM is very smooth and working very fast. After testing Geekbench on the balance mode, I got very less score, that is 796 for the single core and 2022 for the multi core. So I changed the profile to the performance mode and tested again. Here we get the slight improvement in the multi core, that is 2456. So let's see the battery backup. I just checked the one day battery usage in this ROM, which is seems very negative. but i just flashed the rom and using state for the 14 hours we can't guarantee the actual results but as per my old custom rom experience it may get up to the 4 to 5 hours of sot and 22 hours of full day uses after settling down the rom so custom rom needs more improvement in the battery segment so what is the final verdict if you are not more concerned about the battery backup go blindly to this rom it will give you the performance and the smooth experience with the minimal features of the lineage os so that is for today guys if you think i help you please do like and share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content thanks for watching see you next time bye bye